This is why they should have a kickstand, Steve. Look, you two are holding up. Oh yeah, so I can when I go to a gig, I can open my hood and flex my digico. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you... yeah, it's historic. We should put hydraulics in it so when Grooney pulls up, and can go. They can bounce and like the San Andreas theme song plays in the background. Steve and Riley, look up. Here's the thumbnail right here. <laughs> <laughs> What's up everybody, it's Ted and welcome to the Sound Shop Vlogs YouTube channel. Now in today's video, I'm gonna take you back in time to about a little more than a year ago. We were working on the SD10. I filmed this the same day of one of my favorite episodes, the Top Shelf Cleanup. And the reason I never put it out is because the next day, Geo came in with the SD12 and you know I had to work on that one. And then this just got lost in the sauce somewhere, but I'm putting it out now, hope you enjoy it. Till next time. All right, cool. Yeah. So we were supposed to be cleaning the shelves. It turned into a Digico day. What happened? Oh, we'll be cleaning the shelves. It's still early. Digico day. Digico day. Digico dance party. <laughs> like I've never seen so much public like masturbation in Digico dance party. I'm gonna kill myself working. I'll film. Yeah, get it, get it on quick. <laughs> oh man, it's tight. Usually not a problem. You don't know. You all right? You all right? <laughs> yeah. David Eady. No, we got him. No, we it's three guys. Is it going? Where, where's the... You guys push, I'll catch. Oh, no, wait. No. <laughs> <laughs> Robbie wow, is the strongest you catch. <laughs> I, I, I'm too oh. scared. Let's get on the side. I'm going to pull it up like yeah. this. You ready? Nope, but sure. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, come on. Got him. Why is that always so scary with the easy top? This is all triceps. Ah, uh, this is all triceratops. <laughs> I was stuck. Ah, the holy grail. Here he is. All right, what are we doing? We're fixing a f up, even though it's barely a f up. All right, two things. Take Why does it smell like vinegar? It does smell like vinegar. It's weird. <laughs> so what's the word with this guy? Okay? This butte. This butte. Never wanted this butte. Oh. Yes, he did. No, I didn't. I remember when you first got this, you went to go like fix the screen or something. You had all the screws. What? Keep going. You had all the screws and they just <laughs> fell right out of your hand. We spent 45 minutes on the ground looking for all the tiny screws for this thing. Yeah, because you know. That was like my first week in the shop. Because Kay. They all just fell out. That was nothing compared to your first trip in the truck. Yeah, I know. I crashed the truck. But also, you know, I've never driven a truck before and you're like. You, you're good in Elizabeth, New Jersey, right? Uh, you're you ever hear of a one-way street with Ted, cars double Ted, you know exactly park? where he went to. Could he have had an easier, more straight shot I know, it was so trip? basic. It was so basic. More straight shot, barely turned. <laughs> it was one-way street, on. double parked on both sides, and that was my first time driving an 18-foot truck. Total PC. Here, do something Do something useful. Hold the screws. Yeah. Kay is very, he's very adamant you can't lose a screw. You know that. He's complained about that a million times. Because I'm anal about that type of thing. I didn't... And everyone knows I'm the type. The anal. Ah! <laughs> could you, Ted, could you imagine you trying to go to Home Depot to find one of these screws? It would be a, a two days worth of work. <laughs> and he would come back with like a <laughs> boat. That's like he would come man. back with a soda. Yeah. Mission impossible. And like a, for some reason, a Komodo dragon. Oh God, how many times have I been in and out of this board, man? You know how many times I open up my Yamahas? Like I never. bet Bruni says the same thing. <laughs> I, I, we That's get why it. it smells like vinegar. Because <laughs> it's been sitting inside. Uh, what do I see when I see Digico? Di who knows me? What do I see when I see Digico, right, Vic? Thumbnails. No. Thumbnails. Views. views. He nailed it. Views. Although Yamaha gets more views than Digico. That's because most of the guys that watch your yeah. channel are like, Digico's how much? Well, because they agree with my whole like money stuff. Oh, I can't put this on. You're not going to show the inside of a Digico, can you? Why can't you? Because you're supposed to send it away to get fish. Shh. Yeah, right. Okay, hold on. Look at I this, Robbie. It's got to go this way a little, and then it'll pick up without breaking a circuit board. Good. This is like seeing the inside of yeah, someone's intestines. All right, and then hold on, if I want to open it all the way, i got to do this. They should give you a kickstand. They don't, though. One, kickstand. Two, you're not three. supposed to open these by yourself. All right, hold that. That felt crunchy. Yeah, I heard right, that. You guys just hold that, because here's where the f*** up happened. 
Oops. Oh. No, no, dusty it is inside. I used the. It's like uh, an antique store. <laughs> <laughs> no, so what happened is I. It's used, not dust. So what happened to is, is I used I used the wrong. I got it. I used the wrong. Keyboard? Fiber type. It should be O M. How dare you? How you didn't listen to Geo? He should have told you. Can you hand me the blue things over there? What is the difference? Quality or something else? Something to do. They're both expensive. It has to be OM2 or better. And I'm, I put in OM1. So is that something most people would worked. know or no? It worked. No. It went to a gig like this and it, it worked just fine. But it was, it was to is that something that people would know or no? Like, would Adam know that? No, right? No. Uh, what, what's the point of having all this empty space over here? What goes in here? Hmm? Look at it. I'm fisting it. It's where I throw my candy wrappers. If I want to <laughs> That's what I'm throwing. This is, like, you know, this is the Digico way, for real. Like the Digico way is open up your board and be an electronics engineer, or give them thousands of dollars to do what I'm doing right now for free. Boo! Well, it wasn't for free. You paid for the fiber. How much was yeah, the fiber? And, yeah, and can you imagine? This right here is probably an $800 thing from Digico. How much did you pay $2 for? Two dollars on Amazon. No, no way. Literally eleven. Uh -oh. your link. As a view, oh my god, you're such a chud. Uh, chud? Yeah. What's a chud? Uh, I mean, it makes a, sense, but what? What is it? It's just a. Wasn't that a movie? Yeah. A chud. Chud. Check your basement and your bathroom. Chud. Cannibalistic, humanoid, underground dwellers. Look at all those groony fingerprints. Did you cook tits? They're not fingerprints. <laughs> he just slaps his balls against the screen. South Park. It's okay. He's inserting the new cable, the new fiber. And we ain't talking like fiber, like cereal. What'd you this say? Is, this is insert. fiber optics. What? What'd you say? Insert. <laughs> Right, what should I do about this? Probably not good that that's got all that bulk. Zip tie. To what though? I need a sticky back. Gorilla gluey. <laughs> yeah, let's put do gorilla that, glue yeah, inside yeah. of the Digico. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's a strong bond, dude. Yeah. You're gonna push up a fader. <laughs> uh, I don't know. The clips are in there pretty good. I think I'm not too worried about that. K says to those. That's bullshit. You have two of these like really expensive consoles. You can't even get a Grandpa Two Flight. Oh. oh. Which is it? You can I'm, get them for I'm 20k. A, I'm not a serious enough. You could be. Remember, right. isn't that what the talk was about? The I talk. Want grow. I want to grow. <laughs> I want to grow. <laughs> Dude, if you think you have what it takes to make it further in the business and get to where you want to get to, I don't know, man. Like, I wish you luck. You know. That's well, it. it's, it's not that I think I. It, I have to. Like, I have to start making more money. I want to buy a house. I want to move You're on. You're right. Yeah. You're right, and so do I. And if you. We were dedicated here with the lighting stuff. We could have grown the lighting so that that just became your baby and all you did is lighting. But in the meantime, we're trying to grow. My question to Kay would be, in the classic episode from last year, when Kay was talking about selling the Digicos. They're, they're still out there back. They're still here. <laughs> what? She goes out there back. God, that is so loud when it comes on. And not for nothing, when I did Crash 18, I still made the delivery. Oh. Uh, <laughs> probably me, what did he just do? What do you mean, what did he just do? He replaced some sort of fiber optic cable that does something inside of this really complicated computer. And then look. Ted, a little here, here. Cap. This is all I'm doing. A little cap ski. That's it. What, so if it didn't Everything have those seeps on it, that would be unacceptable to someone like Gurney? To Grooney, yeah. Yes. Yes. That's unacceptable. As soon as there'd be a problem, if there's any little thing, oh, this is yes. because you don't have cap. This is because you don't have cap. And Digico has answers for everything. If, it, if something goes wrong with the Digico, it is always your fault. Always your fault somehow to them. Yeah, because you didn't get the... Oh, you don't have the dust cap on. That's, of course, that's, of course, that's why the show is the, But the, isn't that a logical answer if it's not working because there's dust in it? When Lady Gaga which, was which performing, it was because you didn't uh, you didn't have the the, the lamp up in uh, the right angle onto the board. You shine too much light; it was, it was reflecting and made its way into the optical, and that's why the board shone. It's your fault. You should know that, idiot. No, I'm saying it shouldn't be like a deal breaker. Oh my God! 
Whoopi woo, throw some gaff on it. It's not. Throw yeah, some gaff, gaff on, on the optics. <laughs> <laughs> so, Steve, we have four digicos. Bam, dude. 10, 8, 5, 11. 4, 3, 2, 1. There should be a digico 1. That would have to be 2001. What are you doing? <laughs> Who are you doing? Who are you imitating? <laughs> Who is that supposed to be? Groove. It's <laughs> 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 okay, the suspense is boring us. What are you doing when you turn it on? Testing it just to make sure I uh, fly it well. Oh my god, look at this. Steve, you fit kind of good behind the digital. Look at it. You look kind of good. Look at it. Oh boy. I don't know how to do this fucking thing where you test it. Call Granny. I don't know how you get it to test itself. Could you just go to. Do I need to do this? Do I really need to call him? Oh, he's giving in. He's using a lifeline. Call him, Steve. Hallelujah. Call him up. Call him up. Hey, you got a second? We just uh, put new fiber in the uh, SD10, and Kay is trying to see if it works. I don't know if it's okay or not. It, it says, an opticore loop has been interrupted. But like nothing on this opticore uh, diagnostic screen shows up. Oh wait, it says loop okay. Ah. Oh. All right, we're good. Wait, 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 that goes away? Let me see, where? It says loop okay right now. If you pull that, it says loop error. Oh, okay. Out. All right, yeah, that should be it. So then I guess it knows when you actually loop it to itself. All right, cool. Thanks, buddy. The okay. aficionado. The aficionado strikes. Really figure it out. He had no idea what he was yeah, talking about. Yeah. Ah, oh, Steve. I saw the, and it says loop error. Look at okay. Go, Steve. Lighting guy, Larry. I was talk back. Hey, I'm not getting stared. <laughs> 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 this is the shit that he does, man. With like, the flashlight. <laughs> <laughs>